the theme that really came out of this was that the best innovations are ahead of us, right? I think that we've been doing a lot of, at least in my world and the worlds like mine, we've been doing a lot of foundational work over the last several years to enable us to start capitalizing some of the more exciting stuff. So, um, you know, we've launched major products, but they haven't really materialized themselves into what a typical consumer might consider to be an innovation. They might be perceived as just catching up. So, so yeah, I think that's fair. I think that we talked a lot about limitations and challenges, but I think that we are all kind of poised to really make the most of it in the years to come. So, so, so an example of that was, is we started right at the beginning, we were discussing bots and AI, yep. and the fact that it's only just started, it's really not there yet, but we're definitely at the beginning and it is gonna get better. Mm -hmm. I think so. Yeah, I think there's just so many opportunities. I think that if anything, the business travel world is ripe for this kind of thing. You know, it's, it's a transaction that we need to process for somebody. They've got a request. We can understand that request with some artificial intelligence and provide them with some intelligent choices. So I think that our industry in particular is ripe for artificial intelligence as opposed to maybe banking or real estate or some of the other industries that might be out there. So absolutely, we're a service industry. So anytime, we can either use a human or a robotic human to meet someone's needs or create a new need and then meet that one. I think that's an opportunity for us. So we discussed the fact that you know there's technology versus kind of business requirements. And then we can almost came full circle to the fact of, well, hang on a second, what about the actual business traveler and innovation? A lot of people then suddenly got very positive with the fact that innovation hopefully will come for on travel and actually helping the traveler while they're on you know on on, on uh, journey. On journey, yes. Right. Right. The whole concept of journey management is, I think, really a sweet spot, especially for a travel management company. You know, we have the unique ability to understand from the employer of the business traveler what their requirements are and what their expectations are in terms of spending and in terms of consumption. And so if we can engage with a traveler while they're on their trip, we can influence that behavior. And that behavior can be uh, resulting in not only savings, which is the obvious result, but also in a more pleasurable experience and a happier business traveler who has a better experience that's consistent um, and full of pleasure and excitement is going to make them happier, a happier employee. So I think that engaging travelers during their trip is hugely valuable, especially um, not just leading up to the trip, but also um, creating moments of decision that they may not have had on our timeline. Um, we know the timeline better than they do. We know when it is a better time to reserve your off-airport parking location or perhaps a ride to the airport or the office. Now, those are things that traditionally business travelers have sort of um, made those decisions on the fly. Whereas, you know, if we engage them through our environment during their trip or before their trip, we can force those decisions and force those moments upon them when they're the best moments to take those types of decisions. So, yeah, huge opportunity and very exciting. So, so one phrase that was used this evening was kind of travelers going rogue and, you know, booking by themselves or using, you know, non-compliant apps, etc. But in fact, uh, one, one of the speakers, one of the panelists said, well, actually, that's an opportunity because us as, you know, as business uh, management companies, we actually know more about our traveler than anyone else. The OTAs mm -hmm. don't have that kind of knowledge. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. the opportunity is there, it's just the innovation is yet to come. Yeah, the opportunity is there. Uh, I think that our ability as business travel management companies to personalize the experience it completely outpaces anything kind of the consumer world can do. I think I'd mentioned earlier where, you know, an OTA pretty much knows your IP address. They might know a little bit more about your intent. Um, your business travel agency knows all about your history and the people you, who you work for and what they expect of you and what your peers in the same company or other companies like yours are doing. So we just have the ability to inform your decision and your behavior in a way that I think is really unmatched in other industries. So I think that that is really an area that you're going to see a lot of movement over the next couple of years. You, you talked about products and the fact that when you started many years ago, there were no products for your customer. Nope. Now you finally have products. Oh yeah, tons. So tell me a bit about what you're doing as a company, the products you currently have, and the innovation that's coming down the line. Mm -hmm. Well, I think the big products we like to talk about, you know, there are several customer-facing products, so anything to do with um, our business intelligence solutions, decision source, and duty of care. Um, these are products that are kind of bread and butter of a corporate TMC that we've worked very hard over the last several years to really make the best. Those are the types of things we sell to our actual customers, right? Um, we also have great innovations for travelers. So things like the TripSource mobile app, which happens to be a pretty great way to stay engaged on trip, figure out what your itinerary is, get notifications from your travel group, your travel agent, your travel manager. So I think that those types of innovations like the traveler facing mobile apps, um, the traveler facing hotel booking solution, I think those things are really what's going to take us to the next level. And lastly, talk to me about this, this environment, Data Art. I, we're, at, we're on the eve of, of SCIF taking place, which is a big conference. I'm going. A lot of people. Yep. Um, whereas this is much kind of uh, more relaxed, informal, there's a few drinks, 
there's a much more open discussion. Mm -hmm. Is this the kind of environment you enjoy learning and chatting and so on? Oh, absolutely. I love it. I think what's interesting about this one is this is one of the first business travel events not run by a business travel group. So most of the people in the audience I didn't know today. Uh, most of the people in the group, the panelists, of course, are good friends of mine. We, we're on the same panels everywhere we go. Um, but the audience is completely different, very mixed. Um, so for me, it's actually refreshing because it's not the same old people I see at every business travel conference I go to. So, yeah. Thanks for your time, Miriam. Thank you.